Hello everyone, today we will discuss about an enzyme action. So before going into the topic, let's talk a little bit about what are enzymes. Enzymes are basically made up of protein. Enzymes are biological catalysts. So what is a catalyst? Catalyst is any substance that speeds up a chemical reaction without being used up in the reaction itself. So enzymes are biological catalysts because they are speeding up chemical reaction within the living organism or living cell. That's why they are biological catalysts. Enzyme can affect an organism structure and its functions. For example, enzymes are involved in making up of the collagen that is an important protein uh, present in the connective tissue. Enzymes can affect function, for example, respiration. This is a process that produces energy for organism. Enzymes can be intracellular. That is, within the cell. Enzymes can be extracellular. Outside the cell. This is a cell and outside the cell, right? So, intracellular, for example, respiration is a process that is taking place within the cell. They can be extracellular. For example, digestion. Digestion is a breakdown of larger food particles into the smaller food particles. And this process is helped by enzymes. And these are extracellular enzymes. Enzymes, they have specific site, we call it as active site. This is the site where substrate molecule bind to it to make enzyme substrate complex. Enzyme have specific tertiary structure. We'll talk about tertiary structure later. So let's first discuss how enzymes work. Enzymes actually lower the energy of reaction. Lower activation energy of a reaction. So what is activation energy? In any chemical reaction, we need to supply a certain amount of energy for the reaction to get started. So what enzymes do? They lower this activation energy. Normally, we provide this activation energy in the form of heat. If we see a graph between energy, this is the time. And this is the place where reaction is a starting point of the reaction. So, if we don't have enzymes, we have to provide energy to make the reactants into products. So, here reactants. So, this much of energy we need to provide. And if we have enzymes in the same reaction, the reaction will start and the amount of energy that we supplied is reduced because we added enzymes. So this is the energy that we have to give without enzyme and this is the energy that we have to give with enzyme. So actually what enzyme did, they lower this amount of energy into this much. For example, if we see, enzyme actually, they fit substrate molecules into its active sites to make ES complex. 
this is actually a structure that lowers the activation energy. When ES complex is not formed, enzymes won't be able to speed up a chemical reaction. Let's see how, when ES complex is formed, how enzyme help to speed up a chemical reaction. If the two substrate molecules, we need them to join, what enzyme will do? Enzyme will hold these substrate molecules into its active sites and by holding them together into its active site, enzyme will help to re reduce the repulsive forces between these molecules and by holding them together, these molecules will be able to make bonds between them and enzyme will help to join these molecules to make them into products. If we see the enzyme which is catalyzing a breakdown reaction, so this is a substrate molecule and we need them to separate, to get separated. So what enzyme will do? Enzyme will hold these molecules, this substrate, into its active site again. And now what enzyme will do? Enzyme will put a strain on this, a stress on the bonds between the molecules that are holding them together and enzyme will actually help to break this bond and to make them products. So this is a way enzyme helps to increase the rate of reaction. So scientists who were studying to know the action of enzyme, they first pr 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 proposed a model which is known as lock and key model. According to this model, they say that substrate fits into the enzyme in the same way a key fits into a lock. That's why they named it as lock and key model. For example, this is enzyme, this is its active site and this this is a substrate molecule. This is fitting into its active site just like a, this is key fitting into a lock and making an ES complex enzyme substrate complex and when this complex is formed, enzyme is helping to break the reactants or the substrate into the products. Sooner, scientists realized that lock and key model is not giving the full story. They had experiments which showed that this model says that enzyme substrate molecule has to fit into the um, enzyme. This is true. Substrate molecule, is, it is fitting into the enzyme to make ES complex but once it made ES complex evidence showed that this complex changed its shape slightly to complete the fit. Here you can see the shape when ES complex is formed the shape of the enzyme the active side is slightly changed and this change of the shape make the enzyme to fit into the place more tightly. So this model, they named it as induced fit model. And this model also explains why enzymes are so specific that they can bind only a particular substrate. So the substrate molecule doesn't only have to be the right shape, but it also able to make ES complex to change its shape. So this is the model we still accept today. So let's see about enzyme properties. So enzymes, these are very specific. As they can um, work with only one particular substrate. For example, maltase is an enzyme that breaks down maltose only. Sucrase is another enzyme that breaks down sucrose only. So sucrase can't break down maltose. 
and Maltese can't break down sucrose. So this is this shows that enzymes are really really specific and this speciality or the um, why the enzymes are so specific is only because of its active site and the shape of active sites that only complementary substrate they can fit into that active site and the active site of this enzyme is determined by its tertiary structure active site is actually because of its tertiary structure and tertiary structure is determined by its primary structure primary structure you know that's a sequence of amino acids so in the active sites so each different enzyme has different tertiary structure so the different shaped active sites. So if this active site is different, the same substrate cannot fit into the enzyme. To fit into the enzyme, the substrate has to be complementary with that structure. Or if we see that enzyme, the active site of enzyme is changed in any way, maybe the changes in pH or maybe changes in temperature, if these factors have changed the structure of active site, the same substrate won't be able to fit into the enzyme to make ES complex. And when this ES complex is not formed, reaction won't be catalyzed by enzymes.